Hi and welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Zangi Moemi from contibuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, I will introduce you to Akiga 24 cost estimating and quantity takeoff. So, the aim of the video is to show you how to use a combination of two softwares. This is Akiga 24 and Microsoft Excel 2016 for us to be able to come up with an estimate of the cost of constructing a wall and so right now what I want us to do is open an existing project that I have created then we will uh, extract data from that project in terms of uh, schedules in this case we will use interactive wall schedules and then we will filter that data to only contain the information that we want to use. We will apply some costings based on a cost per square meter, which is a contractor's all in rate cost. And then at the end of it all, we will have uh, achieved our objective of calculating the cost of uh, constructing the walls for this given project. So let's go up here, there is this uh, browse, click on browse. So you want to open, yeah, there is a folder here, I have created a, a project. So we'll open the first one and uh, select this, click on open. Then Akikad is going to open the project. So let's wait as uh, this, this project gets opened. So as you can see on your screen, this is uh, the floor plan. I want us to go to the ground floor, as, as you can see, this is our ground floor with uh, all that information, we have everything put together, we have uh, all the, 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 the black lines that you can see are the roof construction elements. So this is our floor plan, which is a, a three bedroom, or rather a four bedroom a house, residential house. If you, if I, I will take you to the 3D view, you will be able to see how the project looks like. It's just a a simple building that I have not applied so much of uh, customizations to let, uh, the materials and all those things but it will help us to perform the exercise that I want us to perform and so what we will do is we want to extract data from this uh, ACCAD model and we want to extract data about our walls and this data is uh, containing contained in ACCAD in terms of uh, schedules and in the project map here if you browse down you can see schedules and uh, under schedules we have elements components and surfaces and so a wall is an element. So if you click on this arrow under elements, you'll be able to see we have a wall schedules. We have all openings, we have door schedule, we have window schedule, we have objective, object inventory, and the likes. So our target is uh, the wall schedules. So we will uh, double click on wall schedule. 
as you can see and we will get that uh, information appearing on our screen i want to change the zoom down here to 100 percent maybe you will not be able to see it clearly but i will recommend that for now as we apply more customizations to our schedule down at, 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 at the bottom right we have uh, settings so whenever we want to customize what we are seeing on this screen this part here will be able to use the settings below here for us to be able to access the scheme settings or up here we can see this button that is written scheme settings if you click on this we'll be able to see all these settings up here so before we go ahead i want to change a few things about this display uh, up uh, here we have a text style i will change this from uh, Arial to montserrat i want the font to remain as two i want to use uh, let's see which pen color is nice what what do you think of black i want to use pen uh, number one then i will leave that as it is yes so this is this is it so if you look at our schedule which is in form of a table we have uh, various columns we have a column with element id we have 2d plan preview with wall type we have height we have thickness we have area net volume we have perimeter classification construction type positioning uh, we have fire resistant rating in minutes and that is all the information that we, we will model we will put in our model will be displayed here when we open our wall schedule so this is not all what i want to use if uh, you remember the criteria for taking off is that for walls based on the standard method for measurement of building and uh, civil engineering works in uh, eastern africa walls are measured wall quantities are measured in, in uh, square meters and these square meters for us to be able to achieve that we need to know the height of the wall and we need to know the total length of the wall that is the center line length and for us to be able to apply the right uh, cost per square meter contractors rate we also need to understand or rather to get information about the different wall thicknesses so i think for now that is the information that we need and let's go ahead and customize that under scheme settings so I'll click on scheme settings and then all this information that you can see here and uh, fields this is what is uh, available as the headings for our columns now remove all those that i don't want to use like i'll remove this or just highlight and then click on remove highlight click on remove that way up to there and we have thickness we have height we have uh, building material type i want to remove uh, that let's click on ok we have filtered the in information so what we have now is only the element id the wall type height and thickness uh, so we will go ahead and uh, add something so below here i'll click on add fields then i'll type 
wall wall length how do you write length and down here we have conditional length on the face we have conditional length we have length of reference line length of wall at the center so we choose length of wall at the center because this is what we are calling the center line if you remember basic quantity surveying uh, takeoff length of wall at the center then click on add and click on ok and you will start seeing something here you will see length of the wall at the center populating itself here so what else do we need we will need the uh, let's say area not there but wall schedule add fields with a wall area and uh, wall area with gro gross surface area of wall let, let me see what we can use here I think for now let's use that information as you can see then when you have uh, filtered the data you need now to export these to a spreadsheet file so I go either you can use scheme settings and then here under ex this you click on export you'll be able to save this file as, in, as an interactive schedule scheme which will be an xml file but for now i want